Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Just wanted to have a quick music class with you guys, do some warm ups, talk about these notes that we've been talking about, and just kind of give you guys a refresher course so we're ready for Wednesday and Friday this week. Um, I know all of us are not here. It looks like the good ones of us are here. So um, I want to start by going through some of the notes, seeing what you guys remember. And then from there, we'll have a little warm-up session. We will sing the song that you guys have been working on. You guys only been working on one song, right? Two and a possible. Okay, good. So, not a problem at all. It's good that you guys have been working on more than one song because I always hear the first one you mentioned. So, very good to know. Looks like you guys got somewhere with our notation. You guys remember this stuff at all? Anybody? Who are the some of us that do? You give us assignment to study. Anybody other than Garth want to answer? As to, I know I did. So we've been coming in here every week talking about this stuff. Y'all don't remember it. I remember what? Right. Tell me what you remember about what, what I'm looking Black at. Trouble okay. Cow, okay. Not the lines. Okay. And then the bottom is um, like the um, like the L and then the Mm-hmm. Yeah, you right, so you you know. Okay, so we got the trouble clef. Y'all got yeah. that figured out. That's this yeah. thing right here, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then we got and this five line. Right. Five lines. So how, they give you how many spaces? Four. 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 Five lines. Five, five spaces. lines. And then, and then you have the other space that has two lines. Two lines. Something like that. One of them. What has one. two lines? I think it's up top, right? One on top. Or on the bottom. One in the middle. Like this? I think it's down at the bottom. It's one of the past five lines and the other one has four. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I think the top one is the four and the bottom one is the five. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so let me, let's do some clarification here. I just wanted to see what you know. So, like you said, you got your trouble clef? Yeah. This thing with the five lines and the four spaces, does anybody know what it's called? It's like, um. When you have employees, what do you call that? Staff. Uh, staff. Five lines, four five spaces. Lines. It's called the staff, staff. okay? Yeah. All right, so we got our trouble clef. We got our staff. Yeah. On our lines and spaces, there are notes. notes. Exactly. And these notes have been given names with the letters of the alphabet. Yeah. Oh, this is where it gets tricky. I love to see y'all mess this up. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to make this easy for you today because like I say, I've been watching y'all mess this up for a while. Anybody know the notes that are on the spaces? What notes are on the spaces? This is the first space. What is that note? E. That's the first note that's on the line. Oh. So this is E. What is the first line that's on the space? F. Don't be scared. F. There you go. There you go. So what's the next one? E, F. G. All right. Woo. E F G. G. E F G. What's the next one? 
This is F. That, I just e. said that. E. F. F. G. G. What's the next space? G. Y. C. Y. Why not H? Oh, H. 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 Oh. But y'all have to remember that. Y'all wasn't supposed to fall for that. There is no H. No H. H. Stops at G. So if it stops at G, where do I restart? Anybody know the beginning of the alphabet? A. Thank you. E, F, G, A. What's next? B. Oh, now we know the alphabet. What's next? C. Yeah. D. E. And it ends on F. So from F to F, you should pretty much have that figured out. As long as you know your alphabet and you know that there's no H. Hello? <laughs> e, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, there are little tricks to this game uh, when it comes to lines and spaces again. So on the spaces, this is F, this is A, this is C, this is E. That spells face. So it's a very easy way to remember the spaces. Put your face in the space. <laughs> you say little dumb stuff like that in music, but it helps you pass the test. Yeah. All right, so hopefully you guys can remember this sentence or the lines. It's not as cute as put your face in the space. This is E, G, B, D, F. So we have used that to say every good boy does fine. It's a lie. Most boys are horrible. But every good boy does fine. E, G, B, D, F. <laughs> Spaces, F-A-C-E, okay? We should have this, this is easy. Mr. Jose is gonna come in and be like, what's going on? Why do y'all know this so well? Because we put our face in the space. Right, okay, so spaces are on what? What is the space, what's my first space? E. Nope, you, you, you all on the line. What does space start with? L. L. F. What's my next space? A. A. C. C. E. E. Right. So now let's do lines. L. E. 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 Every good. good. So what is this? G. G. Right. G. Every good boy. G. So this is G. G. B. B. Oh, me people, every good boy does. What does does start with? D. D. Thank you. Every good boy does. Fine. 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 Yeah. Right. E G D D F F A C E. And if you can't remember any of that, remember what F you remember. The first one is E. We just go from there. E F G A B C D E F. I do not want to see y'all get this wrong when I see Mr. Jose come back. It's very easy. Um, so, this is the treble clef. Um, there is a thing called the bass clef. There are other clefs. But the treble clef is what's used the most often um, in most ranges. Now, when you start working with instruments, you know, they can go a little bit lower, a little bit higher. Um, so, you have a little bit of fun with that. Okay. So, I do not have markers, but I did want to also talk to you guys about Notation. Does anybody know what kind of notes these are? These circles with no line? Whole notes. Whole notes. Even when y'all know the answer, y'all be scared to say it. These are whole notes. Whole notes. Very good. So, if you know your notes, you know that there's whole notes, half notes, and half notes. There's quarter notes. No quarter notes. Right. And of course. Ah, the dotted note. Everybody knows about the dotted notes? Okay, so a dotted note, if I were to put a dot next to this whole note, then that would give it two more counts. Anybody know how many counts a whole note is? No. One. No. Four, five. It's four notes. Four. Four. Four notes. Whole note. It's the biggest note you can get unless you put a dot next to it. So when you put a dot, you take the value of the note, which is four. <laughs> right, don't die. Okay, so you take the value of the four and you put a dot next to it, that gives it an, another two 
another value of two, I want to say notes, but that's incorrect. We're, we're talking rhythm here. We're talking, when I say four, I say two, or I say quarter, half, whole, we're talking rhythmically. If you were to sing this, this would be la, two, three, four, la, two, three, four, la. So what I'm saying is, if you were to put a dot next to it, you would sing two, three, four, five, and six. Talking rhythm when we're talking notation. Okay? Um, what else can I teach you guys from this board that we're looking at? Anybody see anything else that I'm missing? I see this. What is this? Does anybody know what this is? Who did, who did that? No. Just a little bit of that. Well, it looks like somebody was very inquisitive as to. Well, that part, but this is actually, or it could be, uh, what's called a sharp. Um, and that's what I noticed on your staffs that you guys have a treble clef, you got notes, you got your five lines, you got your four spaces. You do not have what's called a key signature. A key signature is going to let you know what key you are in. So when somebody says, that's not your note, how do you know? You're in the wrong key. Okay, so. Key signatures, you, probably, you guys have probably seen in the piano class. I've started, I've done the entire circle of fifths. Okay, your key signatures are basically going to align with your notes. So we're gonna start key signatures next time we talk notation. Yes, Chris. See you later, guys. All right, so I think we've done enough notations, staff, notes, etc. If I ask you this, you're gonna know, right? What's that? What's the first line? E. e. What's the next one? E. Don't just yell out letters. If you don't know, don't say anything. I just taught this like five minutes ago, so I want someone to answer me correctly. So I know I'm not just. This is E. What's after E? F. 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 What's after F? G. E. Then H, right? A. No. What's after G? What's after G? A. Thank you. A. No, a. not H. A. 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 Okay, guys. There are seven letters in the music alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. You are never going to see H through Z. Ever. Unless somebody invents a new music. Okay? So if, once you make it to G, we start again at A, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F again, okay? Remember that, F to F, yes? No, that's wrong, E to F, E, G, B, B, F. That's all you gotta remember. Write it down, it helps. We make videos, you can watch them. Okay, so. We should do some singing before you guys get out of here. Anybody want to sing? We got Jasmine doing her solo. At least we got that part covered. Isn't there another solo in this song that y'all sing? No? Yeah, that's the only one I know y'all to sing. Um, there's actually two solos. One is Jasmine, the other one is Jackie Dawn. They said, name above our name. Ah, do you know it? Can you sing it for us today? All right, cool. I know my part. All right, I know cool. my part. You better. <laughs> <laughs> you better. Okay. I know my part. You talking about better. Okay. All right, so do we, need, do we need to warm up? Or, I mean, it's 2 o'clock. Y'all been running your mouth all day. Y'all should have some type of vocals. Let's do a little warm up. Let's do a little warm up. Not even go overthink it. So, give me an ooh, okay? I want ooh, your turn. Ooh, and up. Ooh, and up. Ooh, and up. Ooh, and up. Okay, sounds like y'all got a little, little something going on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, cool. Let's try it out.
On what three is this on three or four? One, two, three, four. How great is our God? Yes. Say to me, how great is our God? All the sea, how great, how great is our First of all, y'all sound like it's 11 o'clock in the morning. It's 2 o'clock. That part. I want some energy. I want to hear some notes. Because y'all are talking right now. And this is a choir. And y'all are, how great is our God. If I got up there and sang like that on Sunday, y'all would leave out of the church. So cut it out. Thank you. The only person I actually hear singing a note, believe it or not, is me. So I need y'all to match this note, at least the women. Sing. How great is Ebony, our God. Ebony, 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 sing the note. How great is our God. That's the note. How great is our God. Okay? The men, your, your note is how great. You want to sing? sing? How great is our God. God. Sing to me how great. Is our God? Oh, see how great, how great is our God. Okay. All right. So this is what I want you guys to match. That's, this is what I'm talking about when I say notes, lines, spaces. These things aren't just on the paper for no reason. You guys have a note. I need you to sing your note. If you don't know what your note is, listen to Ebony a little bit. Match that note. One, two, three, four. How great is our God? Sing with me, how great is our God? Oh, see how great, how great is our God? Rock. If I, if I, if I stop looking at you, y'all stop singing, y'all go to the Trim and I didn't move, trim 
Closer to them next time, or what have you. When I, once I gave you guys the note, I did hear you guys matching that note a little bit better. If some people have lower voices. If you're gonna match the guy's note, just make sure you're matching the guy's note. If the girls have a note, the guys have a note, and if everybody just picks a note out of the air, it sounds terrible. You guys do not sound terrible. You're here because you like music. You're here because you can sing. You understand? Yes. And when they call the radio choir, I want y'all to have it together. Do not come in here half-stepping, playing in your phone, eating, thinking this is a joke and just something else to do for 30 minutes. Because you'll never hit the stage. Not with my name on it. Hello? Amen. Not with my uncle's name on it. Okay? Amen. My grandfather's name is Rayfield. So when they say Rayfield Choir, y'all gonna get up there, y'all gonna look like something. Right. Just like y'all yeah. wear your shirts every day and this and that. Y'all know we got choir robes. And yeah. we're not doing nothing right now, but... December we do that red and white ball. Yep. January they're gonna have a spring show. February will be Black History. We'll be rolling in a second. As long as COVID ain't taking over. Like okay? It like it is now. Right, but as soon as they give us the opportunity, we can't be, oh, we need to get it together now. No, we here. You know, let, let's, let's get, get it together. Let, let's be well rehearsed. Let's get these two, three songs under our belt. Y'all been singing this particular song since that man got here. Right. So y'all should at least know what note to sing, okay? So I want y'all to go home. I want y'all to practice occasionally. Since you got your phones in your hands all the time, listen to the song. Sing with them. Don't be old. Oh, they don't know they know in the choir. Well, sing with the YouTube. And you teach them to know when you get practice in the choir. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Take some initiative. Understand that we are practice. all a team. The thing about a choir is if one person is off, everybody, everybody right else. Okay? 
So remember that for you guys. Yes, sir. I will help you with that, okay? I will help you get it on your phone, though. You're going to watch it on your iPad or somewhere else. What's wrong with that guy? I got a flip phone. Here's the thing. Do you have a tablet? Uh, no. no, you guys are going to be getting some equipment soon that should help you. Um, those of you that have flip phones and things that are not capable of getting on YouTube, etc. But that's what I'm saying, Fred. You're in a choir. You're here. Y'all sit up there running your mouth at lunch all day. Y'all sit together and listen to the song. Yeah, it's like true. Leon and uh, Jasmine and Zedric yeah. used to get together and sing songs. Y'all get together and sing the song sometimes. Yeah. You know? You don't, you don't have to be a practice. Probably, but we think not gonna let us be out there. Outside. Mr. Green. Mr. Green. Don't you go outside every day for lunch. Uh, That's what I'm talking about, folks. Oh, the job is to come in. When you're allowed to listen to the music, I don't want you in the middle of art class listening to the music. Unless you're supposed to do it. Okay? But I wanted to give you guys those pointers. I want you guys to practice. I want you guys to be ready. I know at the very earliest, come December, which sounds far, it's not far. Um, we're gonna be rolling, right? So let's yeah. let's get these. And, and y'all have been rehearsing, believe it or not, for for two months. And if y'all listen to these recordings when we play them, people are watching y'all already. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so it'd be nice for you to know your notes, look like a choir, be organized, because yeah, I, I put you guys directly on video. I have you guys on video teaching y'all a lesson. And we went right back to the lesson that I still got the answers from. You understand what I'm saying? So if you need to write it down, write it down, take a picture, whatever it is you need to do, watch the video a couple more times. But I need you guys to be legit music students, okay? Okay. I got, we're doing after school where people are going to be learning piano. We got Harry and um, Leon learning the violin. You understand? We have people that are talented. Y'all know Rochelle plays yeah. piano, she hasn't been here, they've been hiding her, but that's because somebody has to always walk around with Rochelle. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. so we, we got the talent, guys. We're gonna have people playing instruments, and I want you guys to sound as good as the instruments. So please practice, please take this seriously. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah.